10 years after the end of Bleach, we are introduced to a new generation of Gote 13. Faster, more durable, and stronger than ever. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. I am better! Not only do these Shinigami represent the pinnacle of Soul Society surpassing those before, but also highlights the mentorship of Ichigo's son, Kazui Kurosaki, along with Rukia's daughter, Ichika. For example, Ichika being the exact opposite of her father, Renji, and already taking more Ws than he has in the entire series at six years old. And Kazui potentially being the reincarnation of the Soul King, where just at two years old, he absorbed Yuhaba's Ryatsu. In the one shot no breaths from hell we see this new generation fully realized also seeing new faces whose powers are shown to be even more broken than you can imagine Let's go! Starting with none other than the Squad 1, which is now run by Sunsui Kyoraku, who was appointed under the will of Yamamoto. Throughout the series, Sunsui has proven to be a formidable opponent, giving off insane spiritual pressure and swordsmanship techniques. His Zanpakuto, Katen Kyokotsu, is also very powerful, as a Shikai makes children's games real. What do you mean by that? It creates rules both Sunsui and his enemy must play by, and if they don't, they die. But his Bankai is the most terrifying aspect of his arsenal. Katen Kyokotsu, Karamatsu Shinju, releases a dark aura that covers an opponent, causing them to feel varying levels of despair. Sunsui compares the Bankai to a story about a man who suffers from the same wounds as his partner but cannot die. Something to note about this squad and Sunsui in particular is that unlike any other captains, he actually has two lieutenants. Nanoe Issei, his original partner from Squad 8, whose Shikai form allows her to take the power of God and disperse it in all directions. And the second lieutenant is Genshiro Okikiba, who originally served as Squad 1's third C. During the Hell Arc, Sunsui shows his leadership skills and in-depth knowledge by confirming a rumor on how the Reishi of the dead captains cannot return back to Soul Society and that the ceremony's true purpose is to send them to Hell, which of course kickstarts this new arc. With, of course, our next generation characters in Ichika and Kazui Kurosaki, who not only are shown with new insane abilities, but also are fundamental to the plot of the Hell Arc. But hey, when they are not busy helping Ichigo deal with the Beast of Hell, they are playing Reverse 1999. What is that, you may ask? A brand new RPG. But not just any RPG, it's a good one. Whoa, what? It's a 20th century time travel strategic RPG. As the registration just opened, and for reaching 1 million pre-registers, you can get a free 5-star character. Similar to Kazooie and Ichika, there's different art styles. You want pop art? We got you. Classical oil paintings? Say no more, fam. We also got banger voice acting, including French accents, Italian, and British. Now just think for a second. Imagine a world in huge crisis. Just ask Ichigo. He has a pretty good idea how that sounds. Because just like you, Hoba, meddling with society, a natural phenomena has struck our planet. And it's your job to solve the mystery of the storms and the year 1999. Oh, wait. God help us, we're doomed. I can't believe we're relying on you guys, degenerates. But with your colleague Soneto, you can prove me wrong and find the anarchists from across time and help them escape their fate. It sounds lit, and that's because it is. Reverse 1999 has an incredible in-depth story, and those of you watching clearly have a good taste and enjoy peak fiction. So be sure to check it out in the pinned comment and description. Build your team, cast crazy spells, and experience the awesome combat animations that come with the immersive gameplay by pre-registering today to get your free 5-star character. Moving on to Squad 2, which has seen no changes as it's still led by Soi Fong and her lieutenant, Omaeda. She leads Soul Society's stealth force with her insane speed and agility that she of course adopted from our queen, Yoruichi. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Squad 3 is still led by Rujiro Otorbashi, one of the Vizards who returned to his position after the 
the war with Aizen. Like all Vizards, Rose has his Hollow and Soul Reaper powers, but for some reason, doesn't use them at all, like during the Thousand Year Blood War and gets packed up by Mask. Are you stupid or something? But even though he is uh, irrelevant, <laughs> he's still a captain of the Gote 13, and for a good reason. His Zanpakuto Kinshara transforms into a gold whip upon a Rose, activating his Shikai. Just like Renji's Shikai, this whip is mainly used as a long range weapon, which can retract back to Rose at any time. If the tip of this whip hits you, it will create a shockwave that will destroy everything within a considerable amount of the blast. But Rose isn't just a captain. He's a conductor of a whole ass orchestra of death shown through his Bankai, Kinshara Butodan, which uses music to create illusions that are realistic and powerful enough to damage an opponent. Some illusions he can use utilize both water and fire, something unprecedented with his Anpakuto. His lieutenant is, of course, Izuru Kira, who possesses the power to double the weight of anything he strikes. Uh, but basically, the guy who joined the Donut Club. Now, moving on to Squad 4, we have a huge difference. First of all, this squad is a bit of an outlier from the rest, as they focus pretty much primarily on healing and support. After Unohana was killed by Kenpachi during his training, someone naturally needed to replace her, and that was none other than Isane Kotetsu, Unohana's lieutenant. Now, Isane shines in her healing abilities, being able to speedily provide medical attention through her Kido, as is expected of the Squad 4 captain. Not much is known about her Zanpakuto Itegumo, but when activated, it transforms into a three-bladed sword, with two smaller swords appearing on the sides. And being a captain, she definitely has a Bankai too, which she hasn't shown to us, sadly. Isane's own lieutenant is actually her younger sister, being the previous third seat of the 13th division, Kiyone Kotetsu. Talk about nepotism here, holy sh**. Now, Squad 5 has also seen no changes from the Thousand Year Blood War as it's still run by a man with a bowl cut on his head, Shinji. <laughs> his stupid looking face aside, Shinji is a broken character. Those who have the notification bell turned on should know this by now that Shinji was also one of the visors and returned to his captain position just like Rose and that his Zanpakuto Sakanade is absolutely insane. But upon his return to the Gote 13, his lieutenant was now Momo Hinamori, who is a master tech learning from her former daddy Aizen, but she's also known as a Kido genius who was at the top of her class. Next up is the one a lot of you guys have been waiting for, Squad 6, and this squad is just too good to change. The captain is still him, Byakuya Kuchiki. This guy is an absolute menace, a beast of a Shinigami who has only gotten stronger. Not only is he a captain, but also the head of the noble Kuchiki family, meaning he oversees the Soul Society's history. But a man whose history is the opposite of Byakuya is the L menace himself, Renji. Now, you might think that since Renji has a real Bankai now, after gaining the the respect of his sword and being part of the final battle against you Bob, he must have his own squad by now, right? Right, right guys? Come on, it, it, they have to have given him the captain title. Nope, uh, Renji is still a lieutenant wagging his tail to get permission to smash Bakuya's sister. At, at least he got the dub there. Let's, let's give him a clap. He doesn't get those a lot. But now we move on to Squad 7, being the first squad to completely change. The captain is now its former lieutenant, Tetsuzaimon Iba. This guy, come on, you, you guys remember him? He was always standing behind Doggy Kun. Who? Oh! All right, well, he took over as captain after Komamura transformed into a mindless animal in his fight against Badietta. Not much is known about Iba's abilities beside his Shikai form. Even the sword's name is unknown. All we know is that when transformed, it extends into a large blade scimitar. But the more interesting member of Squad 7 is Iba's lieutenant, the brand new character Rindo Atau. What makes him special is that Atau is actually deaf and utilizes this as a factor in his fights. His Anpakuto, unlike other swords, is able to use different attacks by naming an animal species using sign language. An example of this is a hawk, which when used, transforms his sword into a flock of birds that can devour the flesh of his opponent. The Hell Arc should be a perfect time to not only see Iba's true power, but witness how much more Rindo will grow alongside him. But I don't think we're gonna see much of Iba because comparing the two, who looks more like a main character? I'll let you guess. All right, moving on to squad eight, we have another previous Vizard as a captain, Lisa Yadamaru. She was once Sunsui's lieutenant when he was a captain of eighth division. But after the hundred year gap she took from the Soul Society and Sunsui's promotion to the first squad, she's taking care of business as the captain of squad eight. And yes, Lisa and Nanao 
somehow are not related. Sun Sui just has a type. So he, he made a quick pre-order. You sussy baka. But don't sleep on Lisa as her hollow mask increases her physical speed and strength, which was already very high. And though her bankai is yet to be revealed in the hell arc, Lisa's Shikai transforms her sword into a scabbard that can unleash a powerful piercing attack. To give her support, Kubo has introduced a brand new character as her lieutenant, Yuyu Yayahara. She is a very carefree girl who is obsessed with the Gyaru culture from the human world. So yeah, she's just tanned. That's just part of her riz. All of you who thought Urahara smashed Yorichi, the hope is not lost. We still have a chance, guys. Regarding her power though, Yu Yu has an ability called Urshine Manifestation, which creates an apparition of a giant bear behind her, allowing her to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with many opponents. Hopefully both Lisa and Yu Yu will continue to grow. Squad 9 hasn't changed at all either, as Kensei Mugaruma still serves as its captain. However, should he really still be the captain though? He becomes a zombie and then becomes Mayuri zombie. Like, bruh, who gave this guy this title back. I mean, I guess he is a Vizard, so he has a hollow mask alongside a Shikai and Bankai. However, his lieutenant is way more interesting post Thousand Year Blood War. This being Shuhei Hisagi, the guy with 69 on his cheek. This lieutenant is very powerful, having mastered both Shikai and Bankai by the time of the Hell Art. And in the last 10 years, he's only gotten stronger. His Shikai releases his Zanpakuto Kazashini into two scythe blades shaped like pinwheels, capable of releasing chains to increase his sword's range and to strangle an opponent with them. It's been also stated that Shuhei claims to have mastered his Bankai, but nobody has witnessed it. So in the Hell Arc, perhaps we'll get to see his Bankai in full glory. Just like some other squads, the Squad 10 dynamic duo of Toshiro Hitsugaya and Rangiku Matsumoto stands strong. These two have been major recurring characters throughout Bleach. Rangiku especially had I see y'all saying, that's not her face, bro. Why are, you, why are you staring? But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. Time and time again, these two have been proven to be worthy members of the Gote 13, with Hitsugaya having complete mastery over ice, and, and despite his young age, he's still one of the strongest captain of the Gote 13. Rangiku is also no exception, as she's trying to learn Bankai, but due to both her and her Zanpakuto's moody nature, it's a slow process. However, the Hell Arc will show us what she's truly capable of. Now, let's move on to the GOAT squad, squad 11. Home to our Sigma Chad himself, Kempachi Zaraki. <laughs> This guy was already powerful before Thousand Year Blood War, but now after learning his Sanpakutu's real name, Nozarashi, and gaining his Bankai, he is beyond broken, like solar system level. In his Shikai form, his sword becomes a giant battle axe capable of slicing a meteor, and his Bankai transforms him into a raging demon, a mindless beast of destruction. But he's not the only person in Squad 11 who's completely mastered their Zanpakuto. As his lieutenant, Ikaku Madarame, he gained his Shikai and Bankai before even his captain. This guy is crazy. This squad is so OP that Ichika, Rukia and Renji's daughter, is being personally trained by this squad under the supervision of Ikaku himself. Even, even Renji's daughter knows he's a walking Elsa, went to a different squad to be trained. Holy shit. Mind you, Ichika is only six years old and has been able to keep up with Ikaku and the other Shinigamis. Like, where her battling spirit will continue to grow with age and by the time she's an adult, she will have taken on several formidable opponents. The setup and her headfirst approach to battle will make her the next Kempachi and captain of squad 11. Moving on, squad 12 has seen some minor changes, but Mayuri Kurotsuchi isn't one of them as he's still the captain. Not only have we seen Mayuri Shikai, but also his many Bankais. Yup, multiple. More than one. This guy through science was able to modify his Zanpakuto to become even stronger, making it one of the strongest in the series. The squad's hierarchy has changed a bit though, as Nemu died during the fight against the Soul King's hand, Prineda. And while Mayuri was able to create a new Nemu, it's not the same person as before, as well as being only a child. Because of this, Akon, a former prisoner just like Mayuri, became the next lieutenant. We have never seen Akon Zanpakuto, but that's not as important when it comes to him, as his scientific knowledge is just as impressive as Mayuri. He has an ability known as Rong, which turns other liquids into extremely deadly acid. These guys are a bunch of mad scientists, but I'd argue they're even scarier than some other squads due to what they have accomplished. Because let's be honest, without the research and science division, the captains would have never gotten their Bankais back during Thousand Year Blood War. And finally, we have reached the 13th division, which has seen a major change as with 
with the death of Yujiro Ukitake. Someone naturally had to take over and that person was none other than our GOAT, Rukia Kuchiki. That's right, after all this time, Rukia has finally become a captain, even before Renji. Because we all know how busted her Zanpakuto Sode no Shirayuki is, right? It's beyond broken. Being able to lower the body temperature of Rukia and others to below freezing with the sword merely being an extension to its reach. Last time we saw Rukia's Bankai, she hadn't fully mastered it, but in the Hell Arc, being over a decade later, Rukia's proficiency with it has improved massively to be one of the strongest members of the Gotei 13. As for her second in command, it's the squad's previous third seat, Sentaro Kotsuba. Who? Neither his Shikai or Bankai have been revealed. Also, who the hell is this guy? I thought Renji would become her lieutenant, but I guess if they were together all the time, she could never sneak off to see Ichigo, so that, that works out, I guess. And that's all the members of the Gotei 13 post Thousand Year Blood War. However, there is one more character I want to mention. This guy has the potential to be the strongest character in all of Bleach, even possibly becoming Captain Commander, surpassing the likes of Yamamoto, Kenpachi, and even Ichigo. This is none other than Kazui Kurosaki the son of Ichigo and Orihime. Clear from the get-go that Kazui has more potential than even Ichika. He is genetically one of the most broken entities in the Bleach world, as he is a multitude of different races, including Hollow, Soul Reaper, Human, Quincy, Shinobi, Pirate. Huh? I'm dead serious. At two years old, he was able to absorb the Ryatsu of Yuhaba, who at this point was seen as the strongest character in all of Bleach. Also, this has some major implications about Kazui, suggest so major major connection between him and the Soul King can be made. Perhaps he'll awaken the Almighty as he gets older. But most importantly, apart from inheriting his mother's power to reject divine power, it seems like Kazui is able to open portals to other dimension, most noticeably Hell. We see him do this at the beginning of the No Breaths from Hell one-shot. This means that Kazui might be the key to allowing the Gote 13 to reach the realm, playing a pivotal role in Bleach's future. If you want to know more about Kazui's ancestry and why he's so broken, watch this video on screen next where we go over Ichigo's ancestor, Shiba-sama himself.